Winter is around the corner, bringing with it mathematically predictable moods. The temperature measurably decreases. The proportion of daylight to darkness declines. We get emotional. At this time of year, millions lift their voices in song to raise their spirits. We're going to look at the math in music and moods in major and minor modes, bringing in some blues and gospel in the process. We're going to rock this barn, and we're going to start with a fun song that we all know. Let's sing along. It goes like this. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane. Snow's a glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Now the math. This is in C major, it's a happy sound. When I pluck a string on the guitar, the string vibrates and the molecules around the string vibrate as well and they bump their way to your ear. And if they bump 262 times per second, or it's 262 hertz, you call that middle C. And that's where the happiness begins. When I play the, the, the scale, the major scale, the frequencies increase in a fractional proportional way. Nine-eighths, five-fourths, all the way to an octave. Two times the frequency, twice the pitch, we call it an octave. Now the first, third, fifth, and eighth notes, they give us a major chord. And it has the exact molecular pattern you see on the screen. It creates a happy sound. Some sounds are minor. They're more severe, like this hit rock tune about California in winter from the 60s. We gotta do call and response. We gotta nail it. You ready? <laughs> All the leaves are brown and the sky is gray. I went for a walk on a winter's day. I'd be safe and warmer if I were in LA. What happened? We went from major to minor. Such a huge shift, but mathematically a tiny shift. Only one of the four tones changes from five-fourths to six-fifths. The interval between the one and the three is a little bit different in the minor. Wow, the mood shifts. We're going to take a look here at the molecular pattern of this minor chord. The only difference between minor majors, between the gray dots and the green dots, is just a tiny shift, but a huge mood change. Fascinating. We're going to look at photographs and chord charts, which are kind of like fraction bars, of a minor chord and a major chord with the all-important blue, a third tone, in red. Then there's blues. It goes between the two. Minor, major, minor, major, minor, major, minor, major. The blues mathematically combines minor and major and creates this complex, happy, sad sound. And when you pull that into the world of hymns, you get gospel. You get Elvis, you get Aretha, and that's some pretty good stuff. <laughs> Your voice kind of slides around between the minor and the major. It's a jazzy kind of feel. So we're going to apply this to Amazing Grace, one of the greatest songs of all time. Now on the right we've got a straight up version. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. But on the left is a mathematically richer version as you see in the spreadsheet, which is a song sheet. And it goes, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So your voice kind of slides around, you get kind of blues. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready to make it happen? Yeah. All right, here come the words. No cat pictures. <laughs> <laughs> amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wreck like me. was blind, but now I see. From major to minor, from blues to gospel, the moods, the music, and the math are one. <laughs> 